it's really like fun sometimes. Uh, we have to drive to Australia tomorrow. I'll probably do that. Hey YouTube, who's on here? Well, I am finished with my first new gig with Big Orange Production with Straight Talk. As you can see, I got the t-shirt they mailed me in the box and my name tag and my button. And I'm about to leave the store. I have worked from two two to eight and I get paid 90 bucks let me show you the little display that I had to do I'm gonna leave this hey Lynn so this is the display this is one of the display that I had to set up see largest dependable 4g straight talk wireless and basically I had to um, really not really stand there all day but um i had to walk around pass out some of these um flyers well not flyers but pamphlets rather see i left the pamphlets some on the table some i left so some i um they already left um so anyway i am tired my feet is hurting. I've been walking up and down all day. But I talked to the, um, you know how they got those people who be trying to get you to sign up for Infinity, Direct TV, and Spectrum. So I had chatted with them for a little bit. And, um, you know, just converse. So I made $90 today. I gotta fill out this paperwork. See this little paper? So I gotta figure it out because they were not very clear as to how I was supposed to submit this paperwork. But I, because there was a lot of things they said. They said it was gonna mail me a demo phone in the box. I was to take a quiz. Um, um, none of that happened. So I emailed the, um, the recruiter or whatever and he told me, oh, they decided they did. That was only for the first three weeks. Hey, VR. They said that was only for the first three weeks. Look at this little cute. Mm. So anyway, the little boy is playing. Look at this, y'all. Where you got that little cute Walmart um, thing from? <laughs> Y'all see this little mini um, shopping cart? Look at that. They got a little mini, mini shopping cart. Uh, last night, dinner at Panda. <laughs> Funny. Oh, goodness. I'm so, I got to walk to the customer service so I can sign up. So, yep. So, today's earnings is $90. I'll be back tomorrow at this same store. And I left the um, display because I was like, I am not about to break down that display and take it all the way home just to come back with the same thing and bring it back and try to put it up. I was like, mm-mm. So, um, so already <coughs> I left the display says I'll be back tomorrow. And then the third store will be um, in Morrow which is south of the airport and I was like nah I do not feel like going all the way tomorrow so I may cancel that one I'm gonna tell him I said I ain't coming out there because let me tell you this is not as easy as it seems I mean it's easy but not easy I mean you ain't really selling nothing but I'm glad it's not based on that because if I had to sell some of these products or these phones, I wouldn't have made no money. No, I would have made something now. Because this one girl, she said she was interested in getting it. Okay, hold on, y'all. Let me get this book.
you. You're welcome. You don't have a store stamp, do you? Yes. You do? Where's my paper? I think it's like... Wait a minute. Where did I put my paperwork that I just put down? It's over here. I'm just going to bed. Thank you. I get my paper. Hold on, y'all.
I had to make sure I got my tier and fill it out so I get paid in 30 days. Now, that's the only thing about it. You get paid in 30 days because they don't have direct deposit. And maybe, maybe sooner. So, but that's what they say, 30 days. So, I guess it depends on how long it takes to process the paperwork and everything else. So, whew, I'm hungry and I'm... <coughs> Hungry and I'm ready to go home. But before I go home, I'm gonna go to Kroger's, buy me some couple of grocery items, cause I am not eating out. I'm not gonna stop nowhere. I'm not gonna go to the Panda Express, witness any more behavior. All right, I think it's Where the hell is that fucking car? I've been out here during light time now. It's dark. Oh, I hate this. I know I was closer to the dang grocery section. Not grocery. Where the devil did I park? And I'm, I was not, I know I had to be closer to something next to the home and pharmacy here. Yeah, so Marlene speaks. Oh my God, I didn't forget. It's simply that <coughs> I was, um, you know, I don't really edit my videos, so nothing. I'm not gonna make it home, but I started my training, which was the second day with my regular part-time job. So, I get paid for training from home, and I did that um, before I came to do this assignment. And I just have to be on pace to complete it because I have a certain day I need to complete the assignment. Well, modules, it is, it is several. So, I'm on pace to complete them on time. Then I start my OJI training with whomever is going to be assigned to me. I don't know how that's going to work because the 
immediate supervisor well you know she lives in Memphis and you know you make your own schedule you make your own schedule now how the hell I'm supposed to get out of this you make your own schedule so I don't know how that's going to work when you um, if somebody's working with me do you supposed to follow their schedule or do I do my territory to be trained I don't know I'll figure that out when the time comes that probably be next that should be about what next week or so and as for the other position that was um, in BJ's with that other company it was part-time but it was 950 an hour and um, I had to finally tell them I couldn't take the position because one they were bugging me to not bugging me but I had to complete the onboarding paperwork which involved the I-9 and whatever else they wanted me to do with that and and um, it wasn't um, I don't think you know for it to be a part-time job they skip their hours were like Wednesdays through Sunday and starting at 10 till 6 so I could work anywhere in between say how many I was to work there from 10 to 6 and I was in Conyers which is like 40 minutes away from Atlanta where I have to go to do Zifty it wasn't really gonna work out that way yeah I could have probably done Zifty Monday Tuesday and do it in the evening and you know get off at 6 o'clock or say I got off at 6 and then go all the way in closer to in town in Atlanta with a zifty zone it would have been what um seven ish seven thirty and I would have probably made a couple of bucks because zifty with the food deliveries ten o'clock nine no ten o'clock or so it starts to get slow unless it's like on a weekend like a Friday or Saturday but zifty um pretty much um, ends at 11. 11 o'clock, that's it. Anything like 11.30 or midnight, they don't really do, they don't really get that many orders like that. And if they do, it's probably somewhere way far off, straight up downtown. And then, you know, mm -mm. my cutoff point for the food deliveries is basically 10 o'clock. 10, 10.30, I'm on my way home so I don't do I don't do no 11 o'clock for food deliveries I never did that with uber eats or grubhub or any of them if I did do it I was trust and believe I was far off somewhere else in um, Swanee or someplace way 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 distance that you know that DoorDash tend to send you you know they'll pay you $11 but yet you're going 20 miles you know that's what they used to be doing they'll send you far off or they'll order uber eats it was like maybe McDonald's you know and then you sitting there waiting for 50 billion years in a day to get the food order and get your order other than that at a certain time of night nope no, I'm not doing I don't do no food deliveries past a certain night now I used to do that with Uber Eats but it was like you had to know what areas they used to um, serve food late in the evening like that and it's usually gonna be McDonald's or one of those chicken places Chinese or, or something on Memorial Drive that's late and you going and you going to deliver food, and other than that, mm -mm. but I remember Uber Eats back in the day. 12, 1, 2 o'clock. They had 2.0. They used to have 2.0 surge and stuff like that. 
and it was always at that pizza place up there in um, Midtown <clears throat> or those cafe, those um, 24 hour diners. But you were always going to apartment complexes. You was going straight up to apartment complexes. And most of the time, I don't want to say I didn't get no tips because I actually did get tips. I would actually get tips at night. And it was not, Here, girl Friday, Jennifer, what you doing on here? <laughs> Your time usually be up at... Well, I guess you on. You doing um? What you been up to? I haven't seen any of your videos in quite some time. You still doing um the food deliveries too, or what's the what's the scoop on that? All right, I need to go to the gas station. Where the hell this thing? I'm on Pleasant Hill Road and Satellite Boulevard. This is I always watch your videos and is and what and I'm usually what sleep what <laughs> you be always busy all the time I didn't figure you be watching my videos so what are you up to you still didn't tell me what you was up to <coughs> uh oh Ain't bad if I'm about to go. I what? Let me see what you're saying. I yeah. I load the videos regularly. You still do the gigs? Yeah, I still do them, but you know, at one point I wasn't doing it as regularly for a while because I was working a regular job for a minute, and then I don't do Uber Eats. Grubhub or DoorDash, you know, most definitely I don't do um, Instacart. So, a lot of those traditional apps that I like to say, I don't do those anymore. The only ones I do now is Zifty because I didn't do Zifty when I first signed up for like this is what the third year, and I think it took me a minute. When I mean a minute, I'm talking about I don't think I did any last year, so I started doing Zifty again. I just started recently doing Zifty again, probably in the last um, couple months after the temp agency job um, ended. And because um, I was working at night. Wait a damn. I knew I didn't pass Quick Trip. I'm trying to go to the dang gas station. I know I passed a whole bunch of them, but I just want to go to the Quick Trip. Oh, okay, I didn't get there yet. Okay, I'm going up to Breckenridge, Pleasant Hill. I used to work over this company, scam-ass company called T-Tech. I'm about to cross over 280, I mean, cross over 85 in this crazy circle. And I'm like, do I know you started? Yeah, but not in the sense of doing Grubhub, because most people saw me do Grubhub and then talk about Uber Eats, <clears throat> but I don't do those anymore. Zifty I do, and Zifty actually pays better, to be honest. Well, I always knew they paid better, but um, I think my focus was I didn't want to go downtown, Midtown, Virginia Highlands, because I used to thought it was so hectic going over there with all the parking situation and stuff. But it's it's gotten it's gotten a little better, you know. It's gotten a little better in a sense because <clears throat> it's not like so much. Um, congested I, I don't know because I go to um, Brookhaven and Sandy Springs I stay in my little I have a little area that I always tend to go to um, <clears throat> and let Zifty try to send me to downtown from wherever 
but um, I pretty much stay consistent in certain areas with Zifty and and let me see what you're saying. I know you're doing Zig. Zig. I'm going to read your comment when I get to this gas station. I don't know what you're saying. I can't read this. Oh, I can't see what you're saying. Yeah, I did those survey.com. Field agent was like pocket, you know, with little pocket change, you know, $40 and stuff like that. I was doing survey.com real hard because they had a whole bunch of assignments going to the Kroger's setting up those um, uh, um, phone accessories display and they didn't give me those stores I had Lilburn somebody been taking them is that you Jennifer because did you start doing did you do survey.com and took my little territory because I had um, I went to that Kroger and I was like wait a minute somebody been coming to this store and setting it up I said who been taking my job because that was my little I had three, four stores in that same vicinity. Lilburn, Tucker. Now, all of a sudden, I was like, hmm, I used to get those um, stores. Now, all of a sudden, I don't get them. I was trying to figure out, okay, here's this quick trick. I said, somebody took my little area. I know you're doing Ziggy. You mean Zifty, not Ziggy. Survey.com, field agent, da, da, and a brand. Da, da. What? I, I ain't that. It's something else. Somebody is pissing me off. Oh, what? Pissing you off, Jennifer. What happened? I didn't like the delay and pay with the. Are you talking about the um the delay and pay when it came with um survey.com? Because yes, I told them they sent me a job to do tomorrow can you do a tournament today or tomorrow it's 80 it's 60 dollars and they're going to athens i'm not going all the way up to no athens no it was like two of them went in athens and then um one was on um somewhere peace tree was it down it was somewhere crazy i said this is not even lined up in the same place even if you wanted me to go to Athens, you could at least have all of them in Athens, not one in downtown Atlanta, one and then the others in Alpha, I mean, in, in um, Athens, Georgia. I said, do they know what the hell Athens is? I mean, even though Athens is a straight shot, 78 for me, but I was not bound to go 45 minutes or an hour to go to Athens. You know, mm-mm. And one time they wanted me to do an assignment. I told them if you pay me distance pay, they agreed upon the distance pay. I told them it was 60 miles for me to go. Even though, um, um, what's that part of, uh, oh man, I'm supposed to go to get gas. Why well, I'm trying quick to, all right, people, you need to hurry up and move the hell out the way so I can get some gas. Yes, I was talking about service that car. I deleted it. <laughs> I know. How much money did you make with them? I made $405 and they only gave me, they paid me 78 So far, I have a um, 60 something dollars pending and I didn't cash that out until they give me all 200 and something more dollars they owe me. Coming here playing around and stuff. If you, if you, if you so, um, if you're um, behind, tell people you're behind. Don't be trying to trickle money down for whatever reason. So I said, bump that. And then I, you know, and I'll be working with Crossmark as a regular employee for them. 
with the territories that I um, that I've been assigned to, and Survey.com is um, it's not like Crossmark or Advantage Solutions or um, or um, hold on, I'm trying to get my car and get me some gas. They're like, I don't know what they are. I don't know if they're like a, um, I don't know if they're like a third party that gets assignments from those merchant companies when they get an overflow or they don't have enough people. I think that's what it is. I think they're like a, um, like Crossmark, they may, or say Walmart or Kroger needs help stocking items and stuff and or if a company doesn't have enough people then I think they kind of get people to do the assignments and they pay them like ten dollars or twelve fifty an hour and you know and they get a piece of the money and they waiting for money to come from the I don't know what it is Yeah. What? You owe me nine dollars, Jennifer. Nine dollars. <laughs> and he told me. Okay. Yeah. If you could be a, a merchandiser for the big company like Nabisco and um, whatever, you can make some uh, very good money. But my title would be outside sales representative. So I'm supposed to go to the territories, check about their services and um, the candies and um, things like that. I'll find out more and more what my job entails and what I'm supposed to be doing when I finish this online training they want me to do from home. But I make my own schedule, so. Ooh, it's cold. What? You been over here for 20 years for Nabisco? Well, my manager, she said she worked at Nabisco. Did she tell me Nabisco? One of those big companies coming out of college. And she um, worked for them for years. And then she worked at um, Crossmark for 12 years. But I could tell you, it's more than just stocking some cookies and stocking candy on the shelf. It's um, a little bit more detailed in that. Oh no, y'all trying to get me some gas. It is cold. It went from 60 degrees, 65, spring like, to cold. Dang. Well, I gotta see the cat. Come on now. I'm not trying to. Hold on. I didn't know Ruthie said something. I didn't see nothing. Why I gotta see the cashier? Can't I just get my car to prove so I can get some fucking gas? Shit. Hold oh, on. Hate this. If I wanted to come up here, if I wanted to go inside, I would have went inside and paid before I get up. 
he did some ugly shit, y'all. <laughs>